Hey everyone, Bob Babbitt here with our Challenge Denmark champion, the inaugural event, Mr. Dirk Bockel. And Dirk, we talked yesterday about you won uh, Ironman Melbourne last year and really positive, negative, you win, hurt your hip, and it's been uh, a battle ever since. Yeah, it's been a couple of very up and down months and uh, yeah, let's say 20 pounds overweight over the winter and debating am I going to come back or not and I guess I proved today I'm back and it took a lot of effort to come back, probably 10, 12 months of very, very dedicated work and I'm still not running as much as I should be but it's, it's okay, I mean uh, it was a great checkup, it was a great comeback and now it's all about recovering and we got world championships coming up in two weeks so there's no time for celebration. Uh, back to the drawing board for, for the next two weeks. Yeah. You know how quickly things change. You win a race and every, all your sponsors are happy. And the hard part about this sport is it's what have you done for me lately? And you're in you know last year of contracts. How important was this race? Well, I think it, it sends a pretty good message. Uh, first of all, it's a big thank you to, to, to my team, you Place BMC, for supporting me also in the difficult times. And... Uh, you know, uh, I've been under contract for two years with a, with a fabulous team, and uh, I think team is, is anyways, the, the, the future in triathlon. For me, it's, uh, or for, for most of us, it's the year where you fight for a new contract, so uh, coming back with a win for the first race in the season, it's always a good thing, but uh, let's try to perform on the big race, too, in the, in the next two weeks and four weeks, and yeah, I'll do my best to keep the contract. So... When we saw you come in off the bike, basically with Martin Jensen, this guy is considered a powerhouse on the bike. Talk about how hard that bike ride was, because I'm assuming he didn't really want you around off the bike. So he probably pushed pretty hard. He pushed terribly hard. I mean, very often I looked down on my speedometer and it was 46 kilometers an hour. And I said, no, this is to the France base. We can't do that. And uh, then it started really raining. And it's a typical Danish, I call it the Viking weather. Yes. And uh, yeah, it was cold and he was pacing and pacing and I I had to, to prove that I can ride with him so I, so I overtook him once in a while but it took just two minutes and he passed me again and I said oh my yes. god how am I gonna keep up with this guy and out of transition uh, he paced so hard and I said okay that's it I mean he's, he must have legs like nobody else and but I passed him back into two kilometers into the run and then I uh, could hold it till the end so I'm, I'm very happy but I'm also very very tired yeah. knowing that you've been dealing with this hip injury were there points during the run where you're going, okay, how's the hip doing? You look good. I saw that. I saw that. You look good, but I also could see what's going on in your head going, okay, how's this next step going to feel? Because coming back from an injury, you're always very tentative as you run. Yeah, it, it, it was a gamble. I mean, if I knew if I going to pace that hard on the bike and try to stay with him, I might pay uh, my yeah. dues on the run. and. The way he ran out of transition, I thought, well, that's that's it. We're going for second place. But just after a couple of miles, he came back, and uh, I was in the lead, and I could control it. I felt comfortable the first 10K. Then from 10 to 15, I was like, man, yeah, it's long. and I should have run more, maybe. But it, uh, the hip was holding up, and it was good. And I wish that young guy from Denmark, by the way, it's an amazing talent. So you're going to have fun talking to this guy because that's, that's the new Rasmus. He's going to be a good future. He's training with the right coach, of course, you know, my yes. coach. Um, and he was so close that I couldn't really back off with the pace. So I had to dig pretty much all the way to the end, you know. And I wish I could have taken it a little bit easy, but a win never comes easy. So I, I had to work for it, and I'm very, very happy and proud and thankful for everybody who supports me. All right. Dirk Bockel, Challenge Denmark, champion, back in the game. Dirk, congrats, my man. Thank you very much. Thank you.